Welcome, listeners. On this episode, Lyft passenger assaults driver after being told not to smoke in the vehicle. Also, a man robbed in his own home after meeting a woman on a dating app. That starts right now on Chris Talks. Let's get into it. What's up, what's up, what's up, what is up, people? How is everybody doing? Welcome, all my listeners, to the show. I hope your day is going good because mine is going great. So, um, yes, everybody, welcome to the show. I want to thank, uh, my new subscribers for subscribing. Thank y'all for subscribing to the show. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And you can check out um, the, the the previous episodes that I've already done. Okay, so let's get into this first one. This first story right now, which is a Lyft passenger assaulted driver and snatched the keys after being told not to smoke in the car so we're going to get down to this real quick um uh let's play this story because this sound and yeah this sounds real interesting because why are you why are you hitting me for you coming at me sideways because i told you not to smoke in my car lady you crazy let's get into it let's get into the story all right should we pay the bills first yeah let's pay the bills first I already paid. Well, yeah, technically I already did. Thanking all my new subscribers for um, tuning in and all that stuff. Let's hear this story. We can pay the bills later. I want to hear this. Play that uh, story. We're going to let our AI take over. Play the story for me, please. Tiffany Grant, 41, of Jersey City, got into a heated exchange with the driver who stopped on Ford Lee Road near Spring Street around 2 p.m. Last Friday afternoon, June 9th. Leonia Police Chief Scott Tamagni said, that's where the argument became physical. The chief said, after punching and grabbing the driver by the neck, Grant snatched the keys and hopped out. Tamagni said, Special Law Enforcement Officer 2 Steve Oxnard and Officer Anthony Mikatarian found Grant on nearby Station Parkway. She was carrying the keys. The chief said, the driver was treated at a local hospital before being released. Grant, meanwhile, was charged with second-degree strong-armed robbery and sent to the Bergen County Jail, where she remained on Monday. Wow. Strong-arm. Yeah, that's like strong-arm robbery. You just stole my keys. What's wrong with these people? What is wrong? All right. Before um, I give my view and my opinion on that, now we're going to pay the bills. All right, so everybody got to know what to do. Um, if you like this content and want to hear more of it, check out the, uh, check out the links on your screen. This particular episode might be on, um, it's going to be on YouTube. You can check this episode out at Chris Talks 1190. Uh, check us out at Facebook where we also, uh, we promote and post motivational and inspirational, uh, little things up there. So, you know, help you through your day. Just some inspirational and motivational quotes to help you through your day. You know what I mean? Try to keep your head up high. All that good stuff. All right, so hit that like, subscribe, that notification button so you get a show every time I post one up, okay? And also share and uh, give your comments. Like I said, I do like to read your comments, all right? So let's get right into this because I want to give my opinion on this show, on this um, story because... This this lady here is really dumb. See, people, this is the, this this is what we gotta stop doing. Okay, when you sit there and you call a Lyft or you call an Uber or something like that, you are entering somebody else's vehicle. So if I don't want you smoking in my vehicle, that is my right. Don't smoke in my vehicle. Now, this lady. Uh, Miss Grant gets the full do. Can I can I get my um foolish bell? Get my can you play my dummy bell? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, she gets my dummy bell. Ding, ding, ding. Cause that's how 
foolish and dumb and senseless. It says, you attack the man because he doesn't want you smoking his car. Smoke outside the car. Smoke in the car before you come. But I mean, before you get in the car. Ah, before I come. Before I arrive, you should have already smoked and did whatever you had to do. As far as that is concerned, you, for her to just think that she could just walk up in somebody's car with a lit whatever, and they don't even tell you what it was. And that, that's another question I would have. Even when I did, uh, um, we went, um, wait a week, we did look at the Jersey paper, right? Yeah. At the Jersey paper, it says the same thing. See, some of these stories, just like I, I always say, some of these stories, these are the stories that they don't really present. And that they give a little bit on. And then we have to run around and dig around. And try to find and get the true story and full story. About um, what happened or what took, what took place. But this melanin lady. She she definitely needs to go to jail. Because what she did was, was dumb. Smoke before you get in the car. Avoid the BS. It's really simple. You want to... Uh, what did she do? She, what did she, she beat the... Yeah, well... The um, other one says... Uh, the other article said that she punched the driver in the back of the head. Okay? And then uh, she grabbed the keys. I had ignition... Basically saying if, if 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 you ain't gonna drop me off, you ain't going nowhere. So if you ain't gonna take me where I gotta go, you ain't going nowhere. And he did the right thing, which was which was call the police. Let's give him an applause for that one. Because he did the right thing, he called the cops, he notified uh, the proper authorities. They came and they they found her walking down the block and with the keys in her hand. So I mean. That was really, that was a dumb move, real dumb move on her part. And now she's about to sit up in jail for uh, Lord knows how long. I don't think that's something that's like petty. I don't know if it's a felony. I don't know if that charge in Jersey is a felony. Is it? Okay, well, okay, well, yeah, it could be a um it could be boosted up to a felony, I'm guess. I'm assuming. I'm guessing. Probably not a felony. Or it probably is. It's probably a felony that's being could be dropped to a misdemeanor or a misdemeanor that could be boosted to a felony. But she's going to get exactly what she deserves. And to all my listeners, like I always say, if you have an issue with somebody, you walk away from it. The best thing to do is to just walk away. You could have got out the car, called another lift, or called another Uber. The best thing you do with these situations is just to walk away from them because sometimes it does not work out for the customer. It doesn't. All right, let's get into this next story, which is a man who was robbed at his own home after meeting someone, after meeting a woman on a date in there. Okay. Can, can I already give him the bell? Can I give him the bell ahead of time before we even read this? Because I know this one has got to be stupid. Sorry to use that word, but this guy has got to be goddamn stupid. Can we? All right, hold on. Let's see. All right, we'll hear the story. We're, we're, we're going to hear the story. We're going to hear the story. But I bet you it's stupid. And I haven't heard it, but I bet you it's stupid. All right, let's let the AI take over. Uh, play that story for us, please. Police have been searching for a home invasion robber who held up a man after connecting with him on a dating app. Surveillance images of the man were released by Newark police in connection with the violent crime early on May 18, around 4.20 a.m. The Newark resident invited the suspect, whom he had met on a dating website, to his home in the 200 block of Shepherd Avenue. Newark Public Safety Director Fritz Frage confirmed, the suspect entered the apartment left after a few minutes and returned shortly afterwards with two other people. The three suspects then robbed and assaulted the victim, taking his wallet and other personal property. Frage said, detectives said the first man was described to police as a black male. 
5 feet 8 inches with a thin build, dark complexion and a slight beard. He was last seen wearing a black hat, black and white jacket and black and white sneakers. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be... Ah, uh, bro, you have got to be... Uh, seriously, turn it down. I'm sorry. You have got to be... How did... Can I do it now, please? Can, can I do it? Ding, ding, ding. Dummy. Why, why would you, first of all, invite any, and I mean it, any female to your house that you just met on a website? Why would you do that? That makes, it makes absolutely no sense. Please do it again. Yes, that's just, can we, can we smack him? Ah! Yes, you damn fool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me explain something to you. A lot of these women on these dating apps, they are not what you see there. They not that. They something different. They dressed up just to come up on that platform to pose for you. And to get likes and views. And for you, their fake fan, to tell them, yes, their fake fan, to tell them <laughs> that they're important, that they mean something, are they important? Listen, people, it's not what it seems. It's not. And I'm not saying all people are like that, but a majority of them are. But where this guy was a fool was, and if you meet somebody online and you invite them to your house as a first date, that is extremely foolish. When you first meet somebody, to my listeners, my advice to you is this. If you meet somebody on a dating app and it's actually going good, y'all talking, whatever, 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 and it's flowing, meet them in a public place. Do not invite them to your home for the first date date a first date hit it again i want to hit it so many times ding, ding, ding. this guy in it i'm not gonna say um he deserved it but he in a way he sort of got what he deserved because he put himself in such a dangerous um situation in a dangerous position because i mean right now um i'm reporting that he got robbed he went to the hospital. He made it. Only thing they did really was, um, if you could put up the other one, the other report. Yeah, the injuries that he, um, the injuries that um, he ended up getting was some bumping and bruising because um, one of the um, one of these guys that robbed him hit him with a weapon of some some kind. So he lucky he only he only got beat up and just robbed because. This situation could have ended with him dead. Over what? A few bucks in his wallet. Some, some, probably some little possessions that they could carry. A i, uh, was like like one of them iPods or something, something like a laptop. Something probably small that they could just carry. They don't mention um, the exact items that they took from the house. They don't mention. At all that and that's in every report that uh we that i've looked through they don't mention it at all but i will say that um he i would say that um he was very foolish i'm sorry he was very foolish to simply just invite this woman here so easily regardless of what type of conversation that they were having online they didn't meet because in in all the reports it was chatting there was no visual so i don't want uh let, let me get that straight to everybody out there there was no video chatting that took place with this man 
he was chatting with somebody via text off an app. This is how he communicate with this person. There's so many red flags there. She don't want to give you her phone number. She doesn't want to meet you in a public place. Or nothing like that. She just automatically wants to come to your house. And then you just ex- open. Oh, yeah, come to my house. Yeah, come. Please, please, please. Please, come, come, come. <laughs> yeah, you thinking with, the, the brother is thinking with the wrong head. And unfortunately, this is what happens. So people... Be much more careful meeting people online. You don't know exactly who you are meeting. The best place to meet anybody that you're meeting for the first time would be in a public area, no matter where it is. And it should be during the day. Really, not at night. It should be during the day. But if you have to do it at night, still do it in a public uh, place where there's a lot of people. I mean, you go to the mall, they have restaurants in the malls, I'm sure. There's some walls in Jersey, right? And then he's in Newark, which is crazy. And another thing is, and it's like it's blowing my mind, is they mentioned that the girl went out. She came there for a few minutes, and then she ended up leaving. My question is, this is why he gets this. This is why he gets this. Yes, thank you for hitting it again. The bing, 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 because he's dumb. Why would you let the woman walk out your house? And she's not from that neighborhood. Why would you let her walk out your house alone? Think about that, people. Think about that. If you, if it was you, would you let that happen? Please answer that question in the comments. If it was you, would you let that happen? Uh, what What would you do in that situation? I told you what I would do. I would, we going, we both going. I'm going to walk you to whatever car, whatever you forgot, whatever, whatever. I'm going to walk with you. You ain't got to walk out there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Especially in uh, Newark, especially in Jersey. Jersey is not the, uh, I could say it's not the safest area. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I would have been uh, much more careful with that one. But he didn't. And um, this guy, can we pull up his picture? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell to the nizzle. What? This guy is like probably, what, a, a, what, a buck? What, a buck 50? A buck, a buck 60, if that? Real skinny guy. He has to be old. Has to be old. Yeah, well, he's in his, yeah, he has to be old. You're 41. This is crazy. That's bugged out, Ed. Ed is here, y'all. He's chilling with me today. I don't I don't know what else to say about this except that he's a fool. And to all my listeners, please try to avoid situations like this and putting yourself in situations like this. Because that that could have went so many different, different ways it could have went. And by the grace of God. He's alive, and it didn't go to the point of him dying. So, um, <sighs> good on that one. All right, um, I'm 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 done with this. I'm, I gotta I gotta let this go. All right, uh, to all my listeners, I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. Everything, my new subscribers. I want to thank all my new subscribers. For subscribing, y'all already know what this, this show is about. We talk about anything, everything under the sun. We just bring it to the light. You know what I mean? Shows, I mean, uh, 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 stories like this never made mainstream news, but I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm dropping it to you, and I'm giving you my opinion on it. So I want to thank everyone for um, tuning in and listening. I want to thank everybody for being here. You could have been anywhere else in the world. But you are here with me, and I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stressed. Until next episode, ladies and gentlemen, peace. Let's go eat, eh?